Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and we're taking a look at the World 3 boss, Blighted Cheezor, and his new fancy drop, the Blighted Wings. There's a few things to go over before we head in, starting with his accuracy requirements. You need at least 12,500 accuracy for a 5% hit chance, and 37,500 accuracy for a 100% hit chance. This boss does have a total of 2 billion HP, so it might take a significant amount of time to kill this boss. His damage is about 10 times as high as it is in the Chaotic version, or about the same amount as the Nightmare of Font boss. So make sure you have plenty of defense, at least 1000 is recommended, and make sure you're bringing a ton of food with you as this boss does hit hard. But let's head in now. And to get started, you need to click the doorway here and make sure you're selecting the nightmare version here using the arrows. And he does require 50 keys to be able to enter this one time, whether or not you kill the boss. So once you're in the boss room, you wanna start summoning your shrines here as this can help reduce the amount of damage you're taking as well as increase the damage you deal. But we're gonna start going over his abilities now. The first is his tusk swipe here. And this is a melee range attack, but it can damage you up to about the point that I'm standing right here. So if he does the swipe, you need to make sure you get out of the way. The next is these ice mines here, these red crystals, and they are summoned every time he spins this little purple crystal on his forehead here. And these create a shield on him, and you have to kill each of these ice mines before you can continue damaging the boss. He summons these ice mines about every 30 seconds that the mines are not active. The next ability is the stomp right here, and this is a melee range attack, so it's easily avoidable by simply moving out of the way here. And it attacks up to about this front toe right here, so as long as you're out of that range, it won't hit you. The next ability we'll talk about is his back leg back here. And this only happens if you're in this back. It is his hardest damaging ability, and it hits quite hard. It summons a line of spikes that go across the entire map. So the best way to avoid that is by simply standing up front. And the last ability is when he lifts up his very front leg here, and he will start summoning a rain of ice spikes. These don't hit too hard, but it still adds to a significant portion of damage if everything's hitting you at the same time. Let's get started killing this boss, and we'll be back once we can see some loot. So going over his loot real quick, you can see most of his drops is pretty similar to what Chaotic Cheezor has. However, he has two additional drops that we're looking for. First is the Blighted Cheezor card, and the Blighted Cheezor card gives you a percent to all stats. If it's at four stars, it's seven and a half percent to all of your stats. But the main thing is the Blighted Cheezor Shard Cape. And this is one of the best capes in the game. It gives you three additional weapon power as well as a miscellaneous bonus for 8% to total damage. The drop rate is kind of low as it's a 1 in 3,300 drop chance to get this cape. So you might have to kill this boss quite a few times to get these new fancy wings. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content. And a huge shout out to our Patreon members that support the work we do. Thank you from all of us here at Nocturne Gaming. If you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits, check out the link in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.